Enter for a chance to win a free reading now at indigotarot.club. Hi Libra, this is Petra at indigotarot.club. And I'm going to do a reading for you today for January 2018. I'm going to look into work, home, love, and money. I'm using four separate decks. I've already shuffled and cut the cards in each deck, so I'm ready to get started. Okay, Libra, for work, I have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Cups. With the Four of Cups, it feels like some of you are waiting to receive a job offer. It feels like you, some of you are working right now at a place that you hate, but then for others of you, it feels like you're unemployed and you're waiting for this offer to come in. You're expecting an offer to come in. For some of you, it's an offer that has to do with a relative, like a uh, word of mouth. Someone told you about a job and they're going to put in a good word for you. So you're waiting to get that call to hire you for that job, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles, what I'm feeling is that at your job, uh, some of you are going to win a trip. There's some kind of contest going on at your job. Maybe it's a sales job. And um, you're going to win the uh, a trip. Okay, there's different, there's different prizes. But the one you're going to win is the trip. Okay. Now, with the Ace of Swords, what I'm feeling is that... There might be a, a fight at your job between you and somebody else. It could be between you and a male. For some of you, this male, uh, for some reason, I think he thinks that you are getting too close to some female there that he likes or something. Um, but you're just being very friendly with that person. You're not interested in that person for a, like a romantic relationship or anything but this person is a real real strong jealous type and this person is going to confront you in January about some female friend there at work okay okay Libra for home I have death six of swords knight of cups some of you are leaving your house you're going to go on a trip but there's a lot of worry you're afraid to leave the house because you're afraid somebody might break in so it feels like you're going to talk to the neighbor neighbors on both sides of your house to see if they can set up some kind of schedule to keep an eye on your house and on the front yard and backyard like to maybe walk to walk around the front yard and somebody walk around the backyard regularly uh, daily while you're gone just to uh, deter anyone from trying to break in okay with the knight of cups it feels like some of you are going to be um, offered or asked out on a date and it could be someone uh, it could be a person that's younger than you could be 10 years younger than you and you're kind of uh, nervous about that but you do like that person, you do find them attractive, and it feels like it feels like some of you or the majority of you are going to um, say yes to that person and go on that date. Death. With the death card, what I'm feeling is that some of you are going to be doing some fishing, and you're actually going to bring fish home to cook. But um, it feels like you need to try to make sure you do it as cleanly as possible so that you don't get any um, germs on the counter workspace. Try to keep everything clean so that no one gets sick, okay? This is your first time bringing fish that you've caught home and attempting to, to um, cook them. So with this death card, I'm seeing possibility of... Uh, some kind of uh, bacteria or something if you're not careful keeping it keeping everything clean okay now for love Libra I have the knight of swords the magician and the four of pentacles it feels like some of you are going to get some uh, roses delivered to you from somebody 
that really likes you, that's really attracted to you. This could be a male or female. And this person cares about you a lot. Um, even if they don't know you really, really well, they do like you a lot and they, they care about you. And so it's not a big deal to them to spend this money on buying roses for you and having them delivered to wherever you are, okay? Your place of work or if you're at school. Um, so some of you are going to get roses or some kind of flowers delivered to you in January. So that's cool. And with the Knight of Swords, uh, it's kind of feeling like someone's going to come at you and accuse you of something. It feels like this accusation is not something really, really major. Be I'm feeling like this person is going to half accuse you, half, half joking in a half joking manner about something just to see how you react. So, um... This could be at work or home, even I'm seeing like, uh, I'm seeing people together around a table in the evening in someone's home playing cards and drinking and joking and laughing. And this person could be a male is going to say something to you to try to, to see how you react to that. Okay. Now with the four of pentacles, some of you are going to learn in January that you're going to be making more money from something. It could be something that you get residually. Um, it could be something that comes to you every month, like royalties, for example. And I see a big smile on your face because in January, you're going to get notification that that amount is increasing. Okay. Starting in January and going throughout the year, it's going to be a bigger amount of money that you're getting. That's for love though. So four of pentacles in regards to love instead of money. <laughs> um, it feels like some of you don't want to tell somebody how you feel about them completely. It feels like you don't want to be totally honest with them yet. You're planning on doing it in the future because I see this little this smirk on your face. Um, like if they only knew how much I cared about them right now, they would freak out. It's like that. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, also with the four of pentacles. Okay. Libra for money. I have the four of cups, the star and the tower. And what I'm feeling with the four of cups is that you're hanging on to something so tightly. Maybe it's money that something else can't come in so i kind of feel like this card is telling you uh when it comes to your money to give some away like donate okay if you don't want to donate money donate some things that you have to people that you know need it or to people that ask you um and see what happens because it feels like that's what you're supposed to do in january donate some things or donate money because when you do that, that's going to make a hole. That's going to make a hole for you for some more goodness, for more abundance to come into you. That's what I'm seeing with that card. Now, with the star card, um, I'm focusing on the star behind this person's head. Now, if this is you in the card, you look like you're hoping and praying for something to come in. Maybe you're waiting for to hear some news on some money like on an application for a loan or for a car or something and with this star behind your head it feels like you're getting the message that says okay if you don't get it in January that's okay because some of you are going to get it in February so it might be delayed whatever this thing is that you're waiting for that has to do with money or a loan or application or something so if you don't get it in January, do not fret because it feels like with this star here, it's telling you it's coming. It's coming. It just may not come in January. With this tower card, um, in regards to money, it feels like for some of you, you might have to let go of some of your property or belongings it feels like they're going to get damaged somehow. And so you're going to have to throw them out. 
So in January, there may be some damage to something of yours and you're not going to be able to use it after it gets damaged. It's going to be, you, you won't be able to use it at all. So you're going to have to get rid of it. You're going to have to throw it away. For some of you, it feels like it's clothes and shoes. That's what I'm seeing the most here, clothes and or shoes, okay? All right, I'm going to pull one more card from each deck and see what messages I get. So for work, I have the Ace of Cups. For home, I have the Magician. For love, I have the Seven of Cups. And for money, I have the Two of Coins. So what I'm seeing with the Two of Coins is that there's something something that you're wanting to purchase in January. It may have to do with a boat or the water, or it may have to do with some kind of exercise equipment that you use on your feet or your legs. And it feels like you're going to be able to purchase that in January because you're going to do some uh, critical, well, creative ways of moving your money around that's going to allow you to buy that, okay? Now with the Ace of Cup at Ace of Cups at work. Something at work is going to make you very happy. You're going to get some really good news at work. For some of you, it feels like your boss is going to call you into their office and tell you all kinds of great stuff that they're happy that you've done. Like they have a whole list of things. And then at the end of that list, they're going to ask you if you want to take a job doing something else still with that company but in another location for more money okay now with the magician for home what I'm feeling is this is a strong male energy and this person wants to buy you something they want to make you happy and so in January they're going to ask you they're going to tell you I, I appreciate you so much that I've been thinking about getting this for you and I know you've been wanting one and I want to buy it for you. So what do you say to that? So that's what I'm seeing for some of you in January. Now for love, I have the seven of cups and this feels like you being perplexed. So some of you are going to have a lot of offers in January for uh, dates. Okay. And you're going to have to decide yay or nay for each one for each one whether to you know accept them or not because there's some good ones and there's some not so good ones here okay libra i hope those messages helped you thank you for watching my videos i really appreciate it and i have two giveaways on my website so feel free to visit my website and click on the enter here tab for more details Get a private reading today at indigotarot.club.